Hey Pete here for Studio Live today and in this video I'm going to show you how one of these little cables can take your mobile recording to the next level. So the cables that I'm talking about are these little suckers here. So we've got, these are technically called the camera connection kit from Apple. So this one's for a 30 pin, so the 30 pin adapter with USB on the other side, and this one's the lightning to USB cable. So a little bit less clunky to use. So these things are not cheap. So they're about between 30 and $50 for the genuine versions, depending on where you live and where you're buying them from. You can of course buy cheaper versions, which uh, your success may vary depending on the quality that you get. But what this basically allows us to do is to take any USB source. So this particular um, Casio piano has a USB output or any other USB device and plug it directly into our phone or iPad. The one thing to consider though is that your device does need to be separately powered. The amount of power you get from a iPhone or an iPad is quite low and it's not enough to power. So if you've got a USB keyboard that you'd use with your PC or your Mac, it may or may not be able to be powered, most likely not. So if you've got the ability to separately power it through either a battery or like this, through a power outlet, then that will help you. So let's get started and show you how to get this done. So before we get started, there's a couple of things that we will need. First of all, we'll need a standard USB A to B cable, such as this one. And then we'll need to find out where on our device a USB port is. And in my case, on my piano, it's conveniently located right under here. Okay, so we're plugged in to there and we'll bring our USB cable up here to plug into our device. Okay, let's start with the iPhone 6S here, which uses the lightning connector. So we'll get our lightning adapter cable and plug into the bottom there. We'll then plug the USB here. So this is now connected to our piano and that is it as far as connection goes. So if we tap on the keyboard here, then we're into our standard keyboard, which we can uh, play along there. But what we've also now got the ability to do, and the volume is down on the piano, so it's not coming out of the piano here, but we can now, we can now play and track through this keyboard. So if we wanted to record, And there you go. So that's recorded, those chords, exactly as we've played them. Um, let's tap onto that. So it's a really easy way, and as you can sort of probably already see for yourself how good this will be as you start progressing and adding and layering more sounds and more tracks is that you've got a real physical keyboard, a full 88 keys here, or however many keys are on your keyboard, and you can play directly through here. Obviously, if I was playing, I would also plug in headphones here to monitor. Um, that's particularly important if you're then overdubbing other tracks, because obviously the, the iPhone speaker here is not the best audio quality in the world. So that's our first option. So we'll unplug our iPhone 6S and unplug our cable. Let's bring in this one, which is our 30 pin adapter and bring in our little friend when I can find him. Here he is. And we'll plug always the wrong way, which is why 30 pin adapters were stupid. All right, plugged in there. And same sort of thing we've got here. We'll tap on our keyboard, and this is obviously the old version of, um, of GarageBand because we don't have uh, the new version available on iPhone 4s and below, unfortunately. But we've got a very cool sort of synth sound on this one. Turn the volume up. Alright, so we can play it there. We can also... And uh, we'll just change this back from whatever that crazy sound was, back to our regular keyboard. Put our grand piano back on. Um, so one of the benefits of this is that obviously if you've got a keyboard with a sustain pedal or other pedals, then um, you can actually utilize those with this. So if we play and I hold down the sustain pedal, 
and then let go. So we can actually use the effects and obviously your touch sensitive keys. So it just gives you a whole lot more ability to play with expression to uh, use a real keyboard to get your ideas into your phone. So there you go, if you've got a USB keyboard of some sort that's uh, externally powered, grab yourself either one of these or one of these, depending on your device, plug it in and you will be able to take your digital mobile recordings to the next level. Thanks for watching.